greetings. It's a joy to be able to share with you uh, throughout this Lenten season and these devotionals, especially on this Holy Week. Uh, it's it's just a, a wonderful time for us to be together in, in this time of reflection and, and uh, as the people of God here in Kentucky. I'd like to read to you from Paul's letter to the Colossians, uh, it's the first chapter, and I'm reading from the uh, New Living Translation. Uh, this one verse, six, where it says, the same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. Our theme for these devotions is around grace that is greater. And as we've been re reflecting on this, I've uh, drawn and, and really found myself uh, singing in my heart and when I do I can't help but go back to my college days when we would be singing in chapel and you can picture uh, a chapel full of college students singing in four-part harmony at the top of their lungs wonderful grace of Jesus we had a we had a professor who would lead us from time to time uh, during our chapel services and he was very energetic and every time we would sing this song wonderful grace of Jesus when we would get to the refrain he would lead us on that last line where it says, wonderful grace of Jesus. And he would lead us in this huge crescendo when we would pause and then go into the last words where it said, praise his name. And he would hold us on that last word name. And so throughout the chapel, you had this, this loud declaration of praising the name of Jesus for the wonder grace that is given us. Everything, as Paul said, is in our understanding of that grace in our lives. And in that understanding, how it affects and moves out in proclaiming the good news. So I want us to just reflect on what that means for us as the church. And that's led me to this other focus throughout this season, and that is prayer. And my prayers have really focused around uh, the prayers of the church. And in that understanding, giving for the church, the church universal, but also the church here in Kentucky, and for you and for me, praying that our understanding would continue to grow, that we would be people who would be so uh, transformed by that grace, that the message of the gospel, the good news of Jesus would continue to go out, and the church would prevail, and the message would be out, lives would be transformed, communities would be transformed, and as the people of God, we would proclaim that Jesus is Lord. It's a wonderful opportunity that we have <clears throat> as we go through Lent and through this Holy Week. Our focus is on all the works of Jesus as he draws closer to the cross. And we go through good for We pass through that day and we remember, become very focused on the act of Jesus Christ and what he did for us and how his, his death release God's grace in our lives. But then the resurrection came and we went forth and we continue to go forth as the people of God. So friends, blessings on you this holy week. And my prayer is that your understanding would grow. And I give thanks for you as we journey together as the people of God here in Kentucky. Amen.